Uh, it's getting harder to get up every day. Um, especially with all the yard work yesterday, and I really think I pulled something on my shoulder, but I'm glad I got the bushes cut down. You can kind of see them. I need to get them more down, but that's okay for now. Today is the day we leave for Somerset. We're supposed to leave at noon. I don't know where they're at. I never know what they're at. Communication is a big thing to me. Details information. I've said it a few times, and it, it's just like an interview, and I don't understand why some conversations can't be the same. Lead with your best foot. Don't start with all the small stuff first. Like, for instance, yesterday Maddie had a question and said, there's something really important I want to hear your opinion on or want to discuss, and she's like, well, I'll just wait till later to talk about it. And I was like, no, talk about it now. Start talking about it now. I might not have time, but tell me the, tell me the details first so I can start processing it, because... If it's something really important, we need to discuss it, and it's a good thing I made her do that because she's having problems with work, with them trying to change taxes, all this stuff, and it became a bigger ordeal. But it was like if you if you, you would have waited till 7 p.m., like that doesn't give us much time to talk about it, and there was a lot of events happening, and, and it's just it, it applies in life and in conversations and and so many other applications. Just to seize the opportunity of the time, be first in line, you know. That's something that's important to me, and I see that being very efficient. I see that as something to be efficient in life as well. Sorry if that was a rant. It was kind of a rant. It, it's it's nice being back. It's a change of pace. It's amazing to see family and some friends. But there's just so many little things here that just don't, that people just get so upset about. Or there's so much just little drama here that it doesn't matter. And people make that like the focus of things. I think, honestly, Traveling is a great way to reduce that. A lot of people don't get the chance to venture off, and it's all about opportunity. Anybody can go out for a weekend and spend a bunch of beer, but would you take that cash, save it a couple times, and take a good trip, even somewhere close? I go to Des Moines for a weekend and stuff, and and just it, the po the point is to see more of the world around you, to realize, and life doesn't just stop here. And, and some of these big problems, excuse me, are not as big as. It need to be. It's it's all about your choice. You know, when I was younger, I I never wanted to go study abroad. Uh, my mom, of course, always wanted me to go try it, but I was too scared. Like, oh, I'm gonna leave friends. What's gonna happen this weekend? But you know, there's gonna be a million weekends. There's gonna be a million friends. There's only a few chances to do to do something, and you gotta take advantage of it. You gotta live a little bit. There will always be a sacrifice to make for change. Always, always. Oh, I want to move somewhere else? Well, you got to sacrifice what you have around here. One of the biggest reasons I wanted to move was for more opportunity. And for some, staying in the same place, you can do that. But for me, it was not true. It, it was almost like... It was almost like I, uh... Let me draw this out for you. Okay, so here's my diagram. It's really short and quick, but obviously, this is a person in this area. I'm using mountain ranges because... I'm in Colorado now. Well, not right now, but now that I live in Colorado, it seems fitting. But here's you, and you can see that there's more potential opportunity. Maybe there's not a cap here. Maybe it keeps going. You know, maybe the mountain range continues upward. Maybe it stays right there. But you can see that there's a higher peak. There's a higher cap. There's a higher plateau. You can see that because you're on top of this one. But to get there, you might have to make a sacrifice, or you might have to take some struggles and build it back up to get to the next one. You know, sometimes maybe there is an easy path, maybe the mountain just keeps going to the next one, but generally in life, there's got to be some sacrifice, there's got to be some kind of change, there's got to be some kind of down or some kind of cost to get you to the next point. Whether it be, you know, all the moving costs and travel, and then you got to start back up and save a little bit from all that to get back up there. There's a lot of things that this can be, and this distance can be short, it can be long, this distance is the same. There's a lot of different factors, but generalization is you know that there's a better world out there. There's another place out there. There's a better job out there. There's, there's a better something. But to get to the next point, some kind of sacrifice has to be made to get to the better, higher ground. This might be Cedar Falls, and the cap of what can be done here has been, oh, excuse me, has been reached. And this might, for me, this was Colorado. It's a bigger area, and my potential is so much larger with what can be done, or even in a food sense, you know? There's only 10 restaurants here, and there's 40 restaurants here, and I gotta travel to get there. I have to move and make sacrifices. I have to leave everything here to get to a place where I can have Thai food more often, or whatever I want to. Um, the point is, to make change, you need to accept that a sacrifice 
has to be made as well. And that's the hard thing, because you don't want to leave your comfort zone. You just got all the way up from here. I mean, this this is maybe my, my journey from where I was starting in Cedar Falls, beginning of college, to where I ended up, you know, eight to ten years later. Though I don't want to give up what has happened here and all the people I've met, I see something even better, and it's going to take some time to get back up. Maybe the mountain's steeper. Maybe the trip's longer. Either way, you got to you got to accept the sacrifice. You've got to make the change. I hope that kind of makes sense. That's been on my mind a lot lately, so I thought I had to share it. But hopefully they'll be here soon, and we can pack up and start making our way there. I don't think I'm going to bring this camera. There's supposed to be a really cool meteor shower, but I have my GoPro. We'll see how that works on night labs. I'll see I'll see through this camera back on Monday. chips. Bye. 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 Bye.